Hi, I'm Andre, the founder at Zebra BI and a Microsoft Most Valuable Professional. I've been implementing reporting systems, BI systems and performance management systems for over 20 years now. And of course, I've learned that tracking the variance versus plan or versus previous year, for example, is the core task of any analyst. And the hard part of that is actually explaining the variance. Typically, we do this by breaking down our data by, by product, by customer, by business unit, top clients, um, countries, and so on, right? Trying to find um, a dimension or the data field where, you know, the variance has happened, identify them, and then try to explain it. Why has it happened at, at, a, at a certain product category or in a certain market and so on. So these are the typical dashboards as the one shown here, right? But, but there's another way of explaining the variances that is not used as much as it should be. And uh, it's an analysis that every analyst should just add to their toolboxes. And the good news is this analysis is just uh, completely independent of, of your industry, of the size of your company. So it will work, I guess, for almost every business analyst. Uh, it's called the price volume mix variance analysis, where you calculate the effect of price changes or volume changes and, and mix effects um, in your products or, or segments uh, of your market and so on, which will give yourself and, of course, your viewers, your consumers, another insight an insight that you probably did not have in your reports and dashboards. So by just adding this analysis into your, into your mix, uh, you will provide additional value, additional insight um, into your performance management in, in your company. Um, in my example here, I have sales growth from previous year, and it's obvious that the growth is 5%. 0.5%. But what is the driver for that growth, right? What contributed to this growth, right? So here's the analysis. Um, because the prices are falling, right, we have a negative uh, impact of the price changes, right? So it's actually minus 52.6 uh, K euros or, or dollars or something, right? But Fortunately, the change in the volume was positive, so we were selling harder or gaining market share and so on. Plus, uh, there was a positive effect in the mix, uh, perhaps due to some new products that we have introduced and so on. So this is what this analysis will show you, uh, but not just uh, for your company as a whole. You can now use this model, this analysis to break down the explanation to um, product groups, to, to customers, to, to uh, countries, uh, market segments, and so on, which is where this analysis becomes extremely, extremely powerful. So the picture behind me shows me that certain products, uh, you know, are actually declining from, from previous year. Um, they have negative gro growth, perhaps due to you know, uh, price decreases or they have good growth um, due to, you know, good sales volumes, increased sales volumes, for example, um, and price changes and so on. So I can just simply see this, compare this between different product categories, right? And if you're an Excel analyst doing, doing your work in Excel or Power BI, um, this analysis is not a rocket science. Uh, it is a, a slightly tricky. There are different definitions, different ways how to do it. So we will tackle this topic in our next webinar. I'll try to provide some guidance how to do it in Excel or in Power BI. So in the end, you will be able to do something like this. All right, this is my Power BI now. This is my price volume mix analysis, right? 
This is just one, one simple chart, but where the magic starts to happen is uh, now I have a model where I can take my analysis uh, and just, for example, add my products, break it down, boom, voila. I have this analysis in one go in just one second. I can do this by product. I can do this by country or any other category in my data, data model, right? Um, so um, what do you need for that? Of course, uh, you need some formulas. <laughs> uh, you need uh, the right data set, but we will help you do that in our next webinar. The next Zero BI webinar is called Price, Volume, Mix, Variance Analysis. We'll do it in Power BI and Excel. We'll explain how to prepare your data, um, how to calculate the price changes, volume changes, mix uh, effects. Um, you know, we'll explain some caveats around that, around the definitions, um, and uh, we'll do this in Excel. We'll provide how-to steps for that, and then we'll move on to Power BI and explain how to do this in, in, uh, in Power BI by using um, DEX calculations, uh, also Power Query, and we'll also show you how to visualize the uh, price volume mix analysis in an awesome way in Power BI. Um, plus, of course, uh, we will share all of our templates and uh, PBIX files, Excel files, so all the resources will be available. And uh, if this sounds interesting to you, if you are not using the price volume mix analysis in your reports and dashboards, now is the time to learn this, to add this skill to your analyst's toolbox, right? Uh, get the resources and implement it in your company. Uh, join me on September 22nd by registering at the uh, link provided in the description. Uh, Thanks for the attention. See you uh, on the 22nd. Cheers.